Hey, hi there again. Today I wanted to talk to you about the decision between whether you want to use video or classic text information for your project. So let me start off with something here by this book from Sinan Aral, um, The Hype Machine from 2020, where he writes, video accounts for about 80% of all consumer internet traffic. And while viewers retain 10% of the messages they read, they retain 95% of the messages they watch in video. Today, social platforms make sense of the world by ingesting and understanding the moving image. Now, that is obviously very clearly a no-brainer if you want to decide whether you want to use text or video. So why is it then that development cooperation projects still use a lot of text messages and why is it maybe still useful? Now let me get into one point here clearly with the idea of using video. Video and to some degree podcasting has the advantage that you can bring across a whole lot of emotion, a whole lot of gesturing, a whole lot of insights and so forth. And that's why if you use video, you can use uh, interviewers that dig into the questions a bit deeper, that ask you your personal opinion and not just what the evaluation brought out. So in other words, video strengths is in bringing across emotion but on the other hand your viewers will expect that there is something to detect beyond what you could have put into writing so they want to see something in your expression they want to hear about how you feel about what your project has done so even if you don't have an interviewer that plays that role of digging a bit deeper that asks for no, I don't want to talk about the evaluation. I felt well, what could you have done maybe to uh, bring this uh, project a bit further, or what is the next step that you think should be done? You know, beyond what you have available right now in your portfolio, in your tools toolkit. So this is the sort of thing that advances video. So there's a whole lot of different things you can think of where you can bring in uh, the strengths of video. So even if you talk like me into the camera, the idea is not to just portray a project like in a, in a video where you hire a, a typical communications company that flies into Africa, uh, starts with a drone shot and shows off all the great things in, of the project and interviews a couple of people, a couple of beneficiary and then talks about how the project did, did great. So that is not the, the point necessarily. You can talk into the camera but you, can, you, you must bring across a little bit of your insights. Remember, this is network communications. The network are your friends and whatever you want to call them, part of your peer group, and they want to know something about how you feel about this. So if you just sort of relay videos and information from your project in the way that your organization wants you to do that, uh, the viewer feels just like with the written communication tools, that there is not your own opinion in this, not your own added value to this. So this diminishes very much the strength of your communications tool, especially in video. So if that is the case, if you don't feel like empowered by your project to speak openly a little bit and to be a little bit critical or have your own opinion on something, then I advise that you stick with written communications where you can vet this, where you can run this, this through all um, stages and uh, levels of your organization so everybody's okay with each and every word, with every comma and so forth, then that is the better communication tool. But remember, that is relative because all social media has created this drive to be much more quick and to be, uh, be reactive to things. 
So whether it's written communication or video, the social media way of doing things had had has had an impact on all sorts of communications in terms of quick turnaround and responsiveness. So if you stick to the text version with the whole long uh, and a whole lot of vetting processes, you still will have a lot of problem <clears throat> to create that quick responsiveness. So that's it for me in terms of video. But I still think, you know, video is the way to go because it's not just because of the numbers of who watches it, but if you want to get some something to someone, a message, give it your own opinion, and that is much better, even if it's a bit controversial for your organization.